lastly you can take a chopper or even you can take a mixer grinder into which we'll add coconut both kinds of coconut we have roughly cut it into small pieces and into this we'll add a little bit of sugar as well and then you can add either milk or even you can add the fresh coconut water so i'm adding a little bit of milk now we'll open it and our coconut mixture is ready firstly we'll heat oil or ghee in our kadhai so i've heated 1 tablespoon of desi ghee to this we will add the crushed mixture of both kind of coconut which we had chopped in my chopper uh, we have to actually roast this mixture it will take at least 10 minutes we have to roast it on a medium flame simultaneously we have dry roasted makhana and we are chopping uh, roughly chopping the makhana in the same chopper because we need a coarse makhana to add to our coconut mixture you can roast the makhana in microwave as well as in a nonstick pan now we have roasted our coconut mixture to this we will add the crushed makhana now we need to continue roasting all these ingredients nicely till we get a nice brown color and you can all, you will also feel that the ingredients have been roasted well now we have roasted all our ingredients and allow it to cool down a bit so that we can make laddus out of this mixture to this we will further add rose petals to enhance the color rose petals will give a, a very lovely beautiful co uh, color as well as little bit flavor to our laddus and then you can make nice laddus using this mixture here are my coconut laddus ready you can see the texture of the laddu has come out very nice the coconut is coming out very very apparent and the rose rose petals are looking lovely too we'll take a big kadhai into which we'll add 2 cups of desiccated coconut this is 160 grams of coconut into which we'll add 60 grams of powdered sugar this is approximately 3/4 cup and further we'll add 1/4 cup of milk in it i've kept the flame on medium side now we need to mix everything nicely till the sugar dissolves keep on stirring the mixture till sugar dissolves it will take approximately 5 to 7 minutes on low to medium flame i have used desiccated coconut to prepare this barfi however please feel free to use freshly grated coconut it will taste even better also you can increase the quantity of sugar as per your taste you can increase it to 1 cup if you wish once the sugar dissolves then we'll add 2 to 3 teaspoons of malai or the homemade cream it will give really nice flavor by adding this malai into the coconut barfi mixture So we need to continuously stir this mixture and cook it on low to medium flame. Do not increase the flame. And we'll add little more malai into it. Along with it, I'm also adding one tablespoon of milk powder. Now we need to combine everything together and continue to cook on low to medium flame for another five to ten minutes till the mixture thickens up. So you can see we have not used khoya or condensed milk all the material the ingredients which we have used here are very easily available at home you do not need to buy special ingredients to prepare this coconut barfi this is the coarse coconut barfi which we are preparing with a very nice texture at this stage one can even add chopped dry fruits along with cardamom powder to further enhance the taste 
My coconut barfi mixture is ready. Now we'll transfer it in a greased plate. You can use any uh, other square or rectangle dish. I'm using this greased plate. I've simply greased it with desi ghee. We will transfer half of the material on this plate because we want to prepare a two layered, colored layered barfi kind of a thing. So this is the half material. I will give it a nice shape using my hands and we can smoothen it out using the spatula. Here is my first layer ready. Now in the balanced mixture, we'll add yellow food color in it. We'll mix it nicely and our mixture is also done. Now we'll top it up on the first layer and again we'll just smoothen out both the layers to have a nice coconut barfi, two layered coconut barfi. And finally we'll garnish our coconut barfi with some sliced almonds and pistachios to give a nice look. We'll press it gently using a spatula and then we'll allow our barfi to set at least for 10 to 15 minutes. You can keep it in refrigerator. After setting, cut the barfi in any desired shape. I'm cutting into square pieces. Use a sharp knife to cut the barfi. Let me show you a piece. And my freshly prepared coconut barfi is ready to serve. One can store this coconut barfi in an airtight container and it will last at least for one week when kept in refrigerator. You can see we have got lovely texture of the coconut barfi. Another thing which you need to take care of is that do not take this round bottle guard. Take that long bottle guard because generally the round ones have more moisture content in it. So it will take a lot of time to dry up that moisture. Now after grating, squeeze out the excess water from Loki and let's start to cook it. We'll take a kadhai into which we'll transfer our grated bottle guard. Keep the flame on low to medium side and we'll just cook it for one to two minutes after few minutes we'll add one tablespoon of ghee we'll mix it well do not increase the flame we need to cook it on low to medium flame only because we need to dry up this complete moisture which is there in bottle guard so we can cover it and we can cook it on low to medium flame for 10 to 12 minutes. In between we'll keep on stirring the mixture. Let's check out our bottle guard. Here you can see that grated bottle guard has reduced in quantity. At this stage we'll add sugar. I'm adding 3 4 cup of sugar in it. After adding sugar, we again need to cook this mixture. You can see that it has started to leave the water or you can call it bottle guard juice. At this stage, we will not cover it. We will just cook it just like this in an open pan. You can also increase the flame a bit so that this water evaporates quickly. Also add the remaining quantity of ghee in it. Mix it well and we'll continue to cook it. After few minutes you will see that this water will start to evaporate. At this stage we'll add mawa or the grated khoya in it. And we need to cook this mixture until we get that barfi kind of consistency. Enhance the color of our ghia barfi. We'll add few drops of food color, green food color in it. But this is a completely optional step. If you do not want to add the color, you can avoid it. Let the mixture thicken up and we'll continue to stir it in between. You can see the mixture has thickened up. At this stage we can add cardamom powder or the elaichi powder. And if you wish you can even add chopped nuts. I usually use nuts for garnishing. 
so i am not adding at this stage but you can completely add chopped cashews almonds pistachio anything you can see that the mixture has left the sides of the pan this is an indication that the mixture is almost ready it will take just one to two more minutes Grease the base into which you want to set the burfi. And we'll transfer our mixture in it. Just even out the mixture as much as possible. You can even use a greased plate or any thali to set your burfi mixture. You can use a spatula like this to flatten out the mixture. and it will also give a finishing to our burfi as a final step we'll sprinkle few pieces of chopped pistachio and also i will sprinkle few melon seeds i will just gently press it now we'll keep it aside for setting you can either keep it in refrigerator so that it sets up quickly because it's too hot here otherwise you can also keep it just like that at room temperature until the burfi sets nicely once the burfi sets we can cut it into desired shape have a closer look at my very tempting here ki burfi doesn't it look just like the ready made market burfi it tastes even better than that 